Hey, what's up guys? I go by the name Soji Gray and welcome to the device hub. If this is the first time you're here on the channel, consider subscribing so that anytime a new video is released, you'll be updated instantly. So Infinix quietly launched the Infinix Hot 9 Play. And I mean, I really have some thoughts about it. I'll be taking you through the specifications and what I think about the device in general. So without talking so much, let's jump into the video. So moving to the display, the Infinix Hot 9 Play has a 6.82 inch 720p IPS LCD display. I'm not a big fan of 720p, but I feel that if you want to save battery, 720p is the way to go. Now, Infinix calls it the cinematic display, and I must say the display is actually vibrant and colorful, so uh, enjoying content is going to be actually really cool on this device. And 720p actually goes uh, well with uh, battery life so if you want to save a lot of battery I think 720p is pretty great now this device comes with a 6000 milliamp battery so definitely you're gonna have longer battery life but I personally feel with 6000 milliamp it would be nice to have the display being at 1080p but there you have it a 720p but I can't complain at all the Infinix Hot 9 Play runs XOS 6.0 on top of Android 10 Go Edition so I mean they have Android 10 which is a good thing however you should know that this version of Android 10 is actually a lean version so you don't have a lot of features crammed like the normal Android 10 but at the same time I love that this is also one of Android's latest operating system I mean Android's latest operating system which is good for certain apps and features you can actually enjoy and XOS 6.0 isn't that bad either. If you're someone who has been using Infinix products a lot, I'm sure XOS is not anything new to you. However, if you do want to switch, you can actually get a third party launcher. Personally, I use Launcher or Niagara or EV Launcher. So you can choose between all these amazing launches out there and not have to do with the XOS look and feel and all that. But I really like the fact that this device is running at rate 10 and that is a good thing. So the Infinix Hot 9 Play is powered by an octa-core CPU from MediaTek and it's called the MediaTek MT6762D Helio A25 chip and it's a 12 nanometer chip actually and it has four cores being 1.8 gigahertz and uh, the remaining four cores being 1.4 gigahertz and also the GPU is a PowerVR GE 8320 GPU. Uh, I must say all these specs look amazing until you get to the RAM. The RAM is just two gigs of RAM. I feel we are in 2020. Even uh, mid-range devices should at least have three gigs of RAM but unfortunately we have two gigs of RAM with this device. On the brighter side, you have 32 gigs of internal storage with the option to upgrade to 256 gigs, which is cool. So, I mean, like you have two gigs of RAM, so you need to be mindful of the apps you run at a time. And I think that is what I would say over here. So moving on to the camera, at the front, we have an eight megapixel shooter. I like the fact that if you look at the images, you see a dual, front facing flash uh, on this device. I think I've used the Techno Phantom 9 and it had that. And it was very amazing actually having to take pictures in the night and having really crispy sharp photos. I really like that they implemented it in this uh, device. At the back we have 13 megapixel dual cameras which also has a triple rear flash system and it has some AI capabilities as well. Now this back camera is capable of shooting 1080p at 30 frames per second which is also amazing. I feel for the cameras of smartphones in 2020 it has to do with the individual. If you're creative enough and you're able to understand the camera you have you can actually create amazing photos or amazing videos or amazing content with it so i i don't think having like an extremely good camera like the the iphone or the samsung cameras is going to make you a better photographer or a better videographer per se but if you understand the camera you have and understand how to use it then you can be creative with it and get better you know content and all that so that's what i'm going to say about the cameras moving on to connectivity we have a micro usb 2.0 uh, at the bottom so we still have micro usb i think it's something you should expect because this is a, uh, a mid-range it doesn't have a flagship device so don't expect to see type c anytime on you know mid-range infinix devices 
and it also has bluetooth 5.0 which is actually a good thing so better connectivity longer range um and it has wi-fi 802.11 bgn and it uses gps a gps glonass the usual it has fm radio which is amazing and it has a battery capacity of 6000 milliamp which to me is amazing like uh if you're someone who is a power user and not really someone who actually charges or like to charge their devices on a regular i think this device is a contender for you this device has 6000 so it's it will be it will be able to last you a long time before you actually need to recharge which in my opinion is very very good and i mean Infinix says it has fast charging of 10 watts. I wouldn't consider that to be fast charging. In fact, considering the fact that this is 6,000 milliamp, meaning it's going to take a long time to get it to full, but you have it there. At the same time, it has some other neat features like uh, face unlock, and I really love that. Even though it's not secure, I mean, like it's something that works. It's actually really fast and. I love that the Infinix Sports 9 Play has, you know, uh, face scanning support. At the back, you have fingerprint support as well. So if you want to use fingerprint, you have it at the back too, which is also pretty convenient. Um, I really love the design on the, the Infinix Sports 9 Play. It has this diamond cut design, which makes it look very, very attractive. One thing I've noticed with Infinix smartphones is that they do come with clear cases so you'll be able to have a case for protection but at the same time you'll be able to show off your back which is also pretty cool so i mean in general i think this device is something you should consider if battery life is very special to you um with the ram i feel it's uh the downside is one of the low lights of this device because i mean like two gigs of ram is pretty small if you start running apps current apps that are on the play store you should you should have some stutter however if i do get the device in hand i'll try and do some some tests and see whether it can actually run multiple apps and run games smoothly and all that so there you have it guys the infinix hot 9 play i think it should be around 110 or 100 and five dollars i'm not so sure i'm going to leave it down in the description below and if you do have any thoughts let me know down in the comment section as well i go by the name soji gray and thanks for watching this episode of the device hub i'll catch you in another video stay blessed